How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Today we've got something really interesting to take a look at. So over here we don't really get blind boxes or blind bag Hot Wheels. I know over in other countries you get big series and you get like 8 to 10 cars in little blind bags. So I was on a recent peg hunt and I went into Smith's Toys and there was loads of these boxes all saying Hot Wheels rewards cars. Now this really took my interest so much that I bought two. Um, so yes I have two of these. Straight away on the box, as we can see, it says 10 cars and um, it looks like you get like a sheet and some tokens or something. I'm not sure. What I do know is these include 10 cars and I'm pretty sure they are blind box type or blind bag type vehicles. As you can see, they're blacked out and you get the little bag. So we'll go over the box. On the back there you get, let's just look at the one. It's getting a bit confusing with the two. Uh, you get what looks like some sort of, I don't know, like a, a number system, almost like a, like a racetrack design, um, which is interesting. Uh, on the side you get loads and loads of um, stuff, most of it was in um, French I think, I can't really tell. I genuinely have no idea what this is or what the idea behind it is, but um, if we open it up, oh, that's what I'm out, first off, we get what's on the back here, like some kind of, well it's just a sheet of paper really, with um, numbers on it, so maybe this is like a sticker sheet, and you can write down what car you've got, I'm not sure, I really don't know what this is to be honest, and then in the box, are 10 individually bagged blind bag cars which is very interesting indeed. So these will be very, very fun to open. I've always wanted to get the blind bags over here, um, but they've just never been a thing, um, really. So if this is um, their idea of giving us uh, blind bags over here in the UK, then go for it, that's pretty cool. I mean, it means you can buy the whole box in one and be sure you're gonna get all of them, I guess, that's awesome. Let's have a bit of an organise. Okay, so I've piled up all the cars over there. We've still got the other box here, so it'll be interesting to see if the cars actually vary from pack to pack. Um, my guess currently is it won't, and I may have bought duplicates of all the same cars, but we will see. Hopefully, and it will be awesome if it is the case, we'll get some different cars, but if not, then, well, I've wasted, I've wasted money, haven't I? Um, <laughs> quite frankly. But yeah, the cost of this box was 10 pounds. So that's a pound per car, obviously. And actually that's really good value at the minute because cars over here are now two pounds per, you know, regular main line in most uh, supermarkets. Some shops it's like 185 or 169 at Smith's and stuff. But for the most part, that's actually really good value. Anyways, let's uh, crack on and open some blind bags. I'll keep the uh, little bit of paper to the side in case we need it. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at the bag to start with, I guess. Well, straight away, you've got like a big trophy on it. So it's meant to be like a reward. Is this, oh, we can sort of, we can sort of see through the back of the packet there, look. So, I just had the sudden thought, do you reckon this is for like, the idea behind this is for maybe, for like kids, say, um, like a reward thing. So if your child's really into Hot Wheels, or I mean even a teenager, I suppose, I mean even me, and you do your chores or you do some work or whatever, and maybe every week you can get one of these as a reward, or every, you know, now and then when you do your chores or your homework or whatever, and then you can tick it off on your uh, sheet. Maybe. That's actually quite a good idea, I think. Very good. And then that would explain why they're called uh, reward cars. Other than that, I have no idea what the concept behind these is. All I know is there seems to be trophies all over the place. First of all, ooh, yep. They do have the code there, as you can see. This is number nine. Should we, should we do, should we do it in order? No, it's not too much rustling of paper. Let's just, um, do it as we pick them up. Right, car number nine. Let's get the little sticker out. Is it going to ruin everything? Uh, no. 
a gold sticker. Gold Hot Wheels sticker, which says to stick on your uh, sticker sheet. So, there's no number on it. How are you supposed to know which number to stick it on then? Or do you just do it as you get them? This is really odd. I don't understand this. Unless you actually know about the code, you won't know which numbers these are. Hmm, weird. What are we going to get anyway? Ooh! Ooh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Now the keen-eyed viewer may notice something, or someone who's watched my uh, advent calendar, or has had the Hot Wheels advent calendar for last year. These are the same car. And... And I recall someone saying on one of the comments, someone had this car with aero disc wheels. So they've obviously decided to put this car in two packs. Actually, the windscreen on this one's tinted as well. Like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's a lot easier to see the interior on this car than that one. How strange. Yeah, someone said they got a variant with aero discs. And I thought, oh, maybe there's variations, but this one has the aero disc wheels. So, perhaps that person got one that was meant to be in a blind bag, or do they just, you know, have a variation, one's in the blind bag, one goes to the... Interesting, I have many questions, and I don't think any will be, get, be getting answered. So, yeah, number nine, we've got the, uh... I haven't even said the name of the car yet. <laughs> we have the Formulator. There you go, there's the base. But yeah. Nice black and cyan colour scheme, got the Hot Wheels logo on the side. Formulator written over the front there. Number three. Pretty cool, and it does look good with those aero discs. I'd say actually, prefer it to that one. Very cool. So that is car number nine. Um, should we fill it in on the sticker sheet? I guess. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to know which car it is unless you like me and read the codes. Let's put it on our. I mean, the stickers are bigger than the sheet. Yeah, I don't know, I don't understand this, but it does say to stick it on this sheet, so I've done it now. Do I write in the, do I write it in as well what car it was? No, that's effort. We haven't got all year to do this video, have we? Right, let's crack on, let's get on, let's get on. Number six, this one. Or, oh, it's 90. Ooh. There. Number six, what are we going to get? Let's see if the sticker changes. Nope, exactly the same, no number. Hmm, interesting. And we get, ooh, what is this? This looks pretty neat. The Mac Speeder. Awesome, nice grey wheels. Ooh, actually, yeah. I usually do not like these wheels, but that grey and red scheme, they actually look good. Not gonna lie, they look awesome. Got number four on the side, massive rear wang. Sadly, that's plastic, so it's gonna be bendy and probably snap if you are not careful or use these cars on a track and play with them a lot. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Nice silver striping. A very nice fantasy car. I imagine all of these will be fantasy cars as well. Um, that's another thing. I'm pretty sure the blind bags that I've seen other people open do um, have real life cars. Yeah, they do. They do have real castings in, um, of actual licensed cars. So maybe this isn't quite a replacement for the uh, blind bags that we get in other places. It's a shame. They, they don't seem to do them over here. Um, I'm going to skip the stickers. I'm sorry for anyone who wanted me to do that. I, can't, I don't see the point, really. Right. What have we got next? Number one! What is car number one, then? Same sticker. Car number one. Ooh, that looks cool. What car is this? Whoa! Didn't expect that base. That's cool looking. The Groppo times 24. That's pretty cool. Oh, they've got a... It looks like an adjustable splitter. It is an adjustable splitter. Nice. Adjustable splitter. Plastic body in a sort of... Sh 
shine, almost like a matte colour. Green front screen as well. Number four on R. Ah. Wait, no, because that's number four and that's number three. I was about to say maybe the numbers on the cars mean something, but no, that would be that would be logic. That would make sense to have the car. Oh, uh, no, they're both number four. Number four on the side, the white, white, the yellow stripes. Hot Wheels logo, blacked out split spoke wheels. I like the gold on the base. Though. That looks cool, and that is metal too. It's cool. Quite like that. That was number uh, one, so I can go over there. Not that you can see where I'm putting them. Right, what's up next? Number seven. I'll zoom out a bit. Gold sticker and the car. They always come out. Uh, they always come out up. Uh, 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 uh. They always come out upside down. There we go. I did it. I did words. What is this? The Cyber Speeder. Pretty cool. Got nice blue wheels and a very vibrant base. Little adjustable. Whoa! That was scary. Another adjustable. Well, kind of adjustable. Special. It's either there or flappy flappy. Hello. I'm the Cyber Speeder. Brr. Uh, I don't know what that was. Got some interesting um, design on there with the decals. I'll just let you look at that. I have no idea what to ex what, how to explain that. Aero disc wheels again, the in chrome. Green uh, glass, and it looks like it has two two drivers in it as well. I'll try and show you what I mean. Looks like there's one driver in there. Flip around as a driver in there as well. And there is the back. Oh, turbo exhaust, yes! Little spoiler. Very, very cool. That's cool. Uh, there, I think. Okay, car number two next. Gold sticker. And what do we get? We have got. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what this is actually. Oh man, I can't see what it is. Was this number two? Because that actually lines up with that. I really, I really do have the memory of a goldfish. I can't actually remember. I literally just said what this was. But if that is number two, then this one actually lines up. A nice sort of little racer car. Open wheels. Sort of thin the fire spokes, gold, not gold, a yellow outline on there. Number two in some flames. There's the um, interior there. That's pretty cool. Quite a nice little uh, fancy car, that. It does look like we're going to be getting fancy cars here. Anyway, what have we got next? Number five. Oh, track ripper! Oh yes, I do quite like the track ripper. Nice, this is a really nice matte green. Slight, slight sparkle to it as well. Little hot wheels over on the side. Some grey wheels. Adjustable splitter, as the track ripper does. Very nice. Oh, that is cool. Massive rear spoiler. Oh, it's broken. Oh, was that a failed casting? I didn't see it. I mean, I've tipped it out. There wasn't a bit of metal that came out with it, so I presume that's just a casting error. It's missing a bit of its wing. Oh, poor little track ripper. <laughs> oh well. And there is the base as well. Nice metal sort of finish as well. That's cool. Poor track ripper. Oh, I can't remember. I think it was five. <laughs> I'm going to end up with these in the wrong order. You watch. Right, next up. Number four. Oh, sticker's hiding it. What is this one? Ah, the Growler. Yes, the one that's sort of a bit dog-like with its uh, canines there and the slightly broken tooth on that side. Very angry looking casting. Plastic body in red. Got some nice design up the side. Some really fat wheels on this one really cool and there's the engine in the back with a sort of 
spiky collar theme vibe to it. I don't know how you would explain that. Pretty cool. Uh, that was four, I think. Please don't shout at me. What is next? Number eight. What are we going to get in number eight? Ooh. Interesting again. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yep. We also got this casting in the advent calendar. Let me not confuse the two. I think these are identical, however. Yep, these look identical. So let's not confuse them. This one's also got an adjustable splitter. Lots of adjustable splitters going on, which is pretty cool. Yeah, nice purple design with the white and black sort of striping. Number three on there. It is a shame that none of these correspond to the actual numbers. Like, these are both three. Um, yeah, a shame, really. This is the Electro Silhouette. So yeah, pretty cool casting. If you've got the advent calendar, then you've now got two. Like me. Hopefully I don't have three. I hope the other box is different. Next up. Number 10. This is number 10, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Again, this was in the advent, wasn't it? Yeah. You know what? There's a slight difference in the blues here. Oh, am I? No. No. No, they're not different. Oh, come on, guys. Monty Racer. Yeah, pretty cool casting. Nice blue design. I, this is quite cool. Um, yeah. Well, the wheels the same. Yes. Ah, oh, I would, I would, yeah. That's a little bit disappointing there. They really have been reusing some of their castings here a bit. Right, well, we're on to the last bag, so let's not let us not... Let's not let that hold us back. He says stuttering. What is car number three? Oh wow! Oh, it's an um, it's not an arachnid. It's a speed spider. That's pretty cool. Nice plastic. Uh, well, it's all plastic, obviously. Um, almost like an X racer design. It's pretty cool with a sort of blue plastic. Got some cool designs over the legs there. There's the little driver's seat. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Very nice. That was number three, so I think that goes about there. Just scrunch them all together so they can fit in the view easy. Well, there are all the cars. I've now got an abundance of gold stickers on the sheet. I can't bother to put them on. Um, yeah. Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Ten mystery cars all unboxed so yeah the only thing that disappoints me is at least it wasn't more at least it wasn't all like eight cars because that would ruin things but there was three repeat castings from the advent calendar those three there um but i suppose you know if you haven't had the advent calendar then that's not gonna be a bother i don't know maybe that's a maybe that's something i shouldn't really be um you know talking bad about maybe that isn't a bad thing so I'm sure you're all wondering, much like me, is it going to be the same in every box? Um, I feel like I already know the answer is going to be yes. But let's find out, shall we? Uh, that went surprisingly well. Oh, we missed one. Whee! Right, okay. Well, I'll take this off screen. He says throwing them right at the mic. That probably deafened everyone. Okay, so we've got number one to start with. I do hope you can hear me over the rustling of the paper or the, the bags. Number one, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That do be the same, bud. That do be the same. Ah. 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 Number two. Oh, yeah, that, that that do be the same. Well, we might as well carry on just for the sake of it, mightn't we? Number three. There we are. Number four. 
Yep. Number five. Yep. At least this one has a uh, full spoiler on it, so that's um, a bonus. Number six. Number seven, I didn't even show you that one, but you know, saving time and all. Number eight, at least I've got them all right though, they're actually all in order. Number nine, now will this have the error disc again? Yes it does, interesting. I'm curious as to whether that person who got the error discs in their advent was meant to, whether it was like a random error that they got mixed up. I'm interested, I'm curious, you know? And finally, number 10. Yeah. Well, there we are. I don't know what I was expecting. Well, as I say, I kind of knew the result. I kind of knew they would be the same, but the curiosity got the better of me, you know? Because obviously in the shop, you can't see what's in them. So yeah, I've kind of got two of each now, so... Mm, yeah, bit of a waste of money, but... There we are, I've done it, so now you don't have to. Excellent. But there we are. I do hope you have enjoyed. Let me know what you think of these blind bag reward car things. If you've got any ideas of what they might be designed for, uh, please let me know. I imagine what I've said is probably not far off what these are meant to be. But yeah, trophies everywhere. Yeah, they are pretty cool. You're obviously guaranteed all 10. It's not quite the blind bag. It's not quite the blind bag series I'm after, really. But that's been. It's been really fun to open them. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. It was cool seeing which cars we were going to get. Like I say, I was expecting a bit too much, um, thinking they were going to vary from box to box. Um, maybe it's worth keeping an eye out to see if. Um, well, to see if they decide to make any um, more of these reward boxes. Perhaps if they bring out a different series or something that's different to this be worth a look at but for now don't think I'm buying any more because I don't really need any more I've now got a fair amount of these cars I must admit but obviously I didn't know they were going to have them like in the calendar but yeah I've enjoyed opening them it's been pretty fun to find out which car was inside the bags so I hope you've enjoyed watching as well these aren't really quite the substitute I'm looking for for blind bag series because they're all fancy cars and yeah it's not quite the same if you get me but still, nonetheless, really cool to actually have the chance to open some blind bags. And yeah, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I wish you all the best. And yeah, be sure to check out the channel. I've got lots of other Hot Wheels stuff going on. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Drop a like down below. And I shall see you next time. Plastic waste! Woo!